Welcome to the Renaissance technical tutorial about um, inverters designs. Thank you for joining us today as you will discover the true story about an engineer uh, named Paul, a smart engineer working in a medium-sized company uh, in Europe. Paul is really under pressure and quite stressed as he received a tough challenge. He has to deliver a 4 kilowatt inverter to drive a permanent magnet motor using a sensorless vector control algorithm. The inverter needs to comply with the latest worldwide safety standards and include fail-safe mechanism. Paul received the following target specification. True sign inverter, 48 volt DC battery input voltage, 13 amps maximum continuous output, 94% efficiency peak, 3.5% typical harmonic distortion type and five years warranty. The project deadline is in three months. Paul has to deliver a running inverter within three months. But Paul is a smart, clever guy and he will first study what is current available on the market. He's quite impressed by the existing inverters from the market and he starts the evaluation right away. Paul started the teardown of the inverter to understand uh, the details of um, how it's made. What did he find in the inverter package? Two boards, a main board managing the power stage and a driving control stage using a Renesas microcontroller, a 32-bit RX111. So the main question now is why is the RX111 suitable for three-phase inverter? The MCU is extremely robust against noise and offer one of the best noise immunity. It was proven by an independent company called Langer EMV. The MCU delivers 50 DMIPS under 3 volt supply voltage, embeds the world known MTU2 uh, timer unit, fast AD converter to manage easily the three shunts measurements within one microsecond, advanced safety features to shut down the PWM signals in case of emergency. The CAC is fundamental to detect any clock issues. The CRC module ensures the code integrity and reliable communication within the system. Paul visited directly the Renaissance website www.renaissance.au backslash motor in order to download the material of the kit. Schematics, bill of material, Gerber files, embedded software, PC GUI, the user's manual and quick start guide. All the reference platforms are able to drive a permanent magnet synchronous motor using a sensorless vector control al algorithm. And for less than 170 euro, he bought the reference platform based on RX111. Paul found very interesting the possibility to download also the design files for the external power stage of 2 kilowatt. So he did it. So what was the first experience done by Paul? He found the reference platform uh, from Renesas um, very uh, easy to, to be used. The software was very easy to be installed. The graphical user interface delivered with the platform uh, is very intuitive. The USB communication is uh, fully isolated and up to maximum 24 volt uh, DC can be supplied to the kit. His first step is done using his own three-phase permanent magnet synchronous motor. Paul set the maximum current to be delivered to the board. It means 4 amp max. He ran the automatic current PI tuning to tune the current regulation controller. When it's done, the button called current PI can display the step response of the motor with the PI coefficients. The next step is now to run the motor identification process which is offline and without load. The PC GUI button is called motor identification. The motor parameters extracted are stator resistance, synchronous inductance and flux permanent magnet. During the process, the rotor is normally rotating. If not, you may increase the maximum current in the parameter setting window. Finally, it's time for Paul to enter the minimum and maximum speed in the parameter setting window in order to be in line with the motor capabilities and application requirements. He set the minimum speed of 200 RPM which will be the speed where the algorithm will switch from open loop to closed loop. So now it's time for Paul to try to rotate the motor using the speed control window. He set the speed above the minimum speed of 400 RPM 
and the motor starts to spin smoothly. By clicking on the oscilloscope button, the graphical user interface will display the phase and the motor current in real time. Such information are useful in case the speed PI gains needs to be tuned. Basically, after a few clicks, Paul was able to drive his own motor without using any further additional tools. So, Paul was impressed by the plug-and-play mechanism. He appreciated the auto-tuning feature that he even may implement in his final equipment, as the vector control algorithm is open-source and royalty-free. Until now, the reference board that Paul is using was proven and tested with over 40 motors from low voltage, low current, up to high current and high voltage. So you want to be fast and effective as Paul? Nothing easy as that. It's your turn to evaluate the Renesas platform based on RX111 device and order your kit from the Renesas website. Many thanks for your time and see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.